Hello everybody, I truly hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be keeping this one short, sweet, concise and professional as always for you as we're going to be diving into the charts, reviewing the order flow and picking up right where we left off for yesterday's video. I'm going to be giving you some real juicy information inside of this video in really in regards to the order flow and how I was looking at that in the time and then of course we're going to be moving on to what's happening next how the head and shoulders pattern for me is now invalidated but how this means we can still continuously successfully trade Bitcoin here so I'd like to start off with that point and that was the head and shoulders that we were looking at yesterday we obviously had the potential reversal here at the NPOC and yesterday we actually came up into that NPOC into the CC. Remember from D down to this low. We had the confluence here of the NPOC and the uh, CC. And you can see how we slightly front run the NPOC, but we actually tapped the top of that CC real perfectly. If we come down here on a lower term time frame, you can see this a little bit more clearly. Okay, so we come up, we hit the CC, we got our pullback, we come up for the retest of that high, and that really then gave us our market structure change then with the lower low, lower high, lower low. And what happened? We pulled back, and this is one of the patterns I'm also following at the moment, where we come back and we simply take the last low made. We do, in fact, take that last low, and we get another strong move to the upside. No swing failure pattern, no weakness, just a straight breakthrough of that high. I'd actually like to show you something that I do hope that you find very interesting. Uh, and it was yesterday, as soon as we hit this CC, I personally did short it. But I then went on and told my team, I have now closed that short. Okay, I closed the short that I took here and was expecting another high to be made. So I actually correctly called this based off of the order flow. Let me show you the posts. OK, I told my team I shorted the top of the CC, but I have now closed it. OK, I closed it very quickly. Why? I was asked, why did you close the short position? I was also asked, am I going to long now? But why was why did I close the short position? And this is it. The reason why I'm looking for another high question mark. Well, the reason I believe we're going to go higher is because we got no trap longs, e.g. the order flow remained bullish. So yes, we hit the top of the CC. Yes, we hit 19700 that I was looking for. We basically hit the NPOC. And I took the short originally off of that high. But I closed it and I was expecting another high to be made based off of the order flow. Based off the order flow, there was nothing bearish to be seen here. We had seen the reaction, yes. That did give an executable short, yes. But the reason why I was so quick to take my profits is because I recognized using the order flow, we're definitely, well, not definitely, of course, but it's very, very highly likely that we're going to push higher. And I'm going to give you another reason now why we were going to push higher. And that was because of the ES, right? The ES did show zero weakness. This has just been pushing up and pushing up and pushing up. This is when Bitcoin was hitting into the CC, right? But we got our bit of a pullback just like on Bitcoin and just massive continued strength. So with recognizing the strength of ES, there was zero weakness on the ES. So recognizing there's zero weakness on the ES, this is going to push higher. Then timing that also with Bitcoin, where there was nothing bearish on the order flow, I had to believe Bitcoin was going to push higher too, right? That's what I told my team. I believe we're going to push higher. I believe we're going to go up again. And what happened this morning? Well, I was able to come in and say, and we went higher. And this really is the power of reading order flow. And I'll answer this question together as we're on video now. Uh, so, hey, my friends, hey, Daniel, another amazing call. Were you expecting higher on the sole purpose that we there were not a ton of trap longs? Because I think we're getting bearish CVD divergences at the monthly MPOC at the time. Would love to hear your thoughts on that. And so the answer to this is, well, thank you for saying another great call. But to answer your question here was, was it based solely on the purpose of not a lot of trap longs? The answer was no. It was kind of, my, I'm not going to lie, my decision was highly factored on the state of the ES, this was, you can you can compare it, as I, as I said to you should do yesterday, look at Ethereum, look at the ES, and look at Bitcoin simultaneously, right? And if you'd done that, you would have recognized that Bitcoin uh, obviously hit our level, but there was nothing bearish on the order flow. Ethereum has continued to, to move up. And when we look at the ES, and this is the number one, yeah, this is the number one of the, the three, the ES was just like extremely, extremely strong. So it was kind of based on the confluence between the, the, the assets here, primarily the ES, and also based off of the order flow, yes. So was it primarily based off of the trap, the, the, the lack of 
bearishness on the order flow? The answer for that is no. I'm not going to lie. My primary idea was based off the ES. With the ES, with the strength that it had, I found it very unlikely that we were, first of all, going to front run this level and not tap it. And also the fact that there was, yeah, there was just nothing bearish to be seen on the order flow also made, led me to believe we're going to go higher. It's like I actually said live in the time yesterday, right? The, while I was making that video, we were actually around here. And we looked at the order flow and I said, hey, this is going to push higher. There's nothing bearish in the order flow. We're going to push higher. And we pushed higher again. And the exact same when we made this high. I sort of recognize there's nothing bearish in the order flow. We're going to push higher. And we pushed higher again. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is just a video just to briefly pick up from yesterday, show the power, truly the power of reading order flow. It's what gives me these heads up. It's what told me to close that short quickly because you know, we just have to play the probabilities and the probabilities were another push up. We saw another push to the upside. And now we're range bound here, slightly below this daily level of 20,220. So what am I going to say? Well, I'm going to be looking for higher once again at the moment. I'm obviously going to keep my eye on the order flow, see if we can get a bunch of trap longs up into the high. If we don't, then once again, we can expect higher. It's like here. This was an acceptable short position. In the end, we just come down and kind of swing failure pattern the last low. We push up again. Zero reaction this time, straight through the level. What do we do? We look towards our next level. And my opinion would be the same here. This is obviously another potential potential short zone. Okay. I'm not going to be longing here, but what I will be doing is if we get a reaction, if we get a failed auction, then that gives me an executable trade. If we do something like this and just blast straight through the level, then guess what? I have no short and I look for my next level to the upside, which for me was, uh, is around 2,500, 2,600. Okay. So for me, it's, it's a matter of always kind of similar in that regards, do my analysis, mark out my levels, and then get ready for the next trade setup, okay? I know my levels, I know my analysis, and then it's a matter of being patient and, you know, yeah, literally that, being patient, ready and waiting for my next important levels, my next important ideas, uh, and then combining that with the confluence, okay? Actually, I saw a really hilarious post. If we want to have a bit of fun before we end. I know I said I'll keep this one professional, but this, this kind of made me laugh. <laughs> we, saw, we saw BitBoy saying the stock market does not determine the direction of Bitcoin. Correlation is an outright lie. Oh man, I had to laugh at that. I, I had to laugh at that because um, yeah, officially proves once again, they know nothing about this. The, the correlation is there. This post was, I, I, I don't even understand why one would post this. The correlation is 100% there. I, I, I can't believe anyone could even deny that. Um, yeah, that, that, that post made me laugh <laughs> uh, because yeah, this correlation is here. I've shown you so many times, so many times. All I need to do is look at the stock market and I can predict the direction of Bitcoin. Once again, I proved it to you again last night. The, one of the primary reasons I was looking for new highs is because of the stock market. The stock market continued its straight. Bitcoin later carried on higher. The correlation is there. The correlation is as live. Anyone that's kind of saying that's not true, I, 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 I really don't understand. Um, I don't understand a lot of moon boys. So there we go. Uh, all I'm just going to say is I'm going to wrap up that video by saying, hey, uh, you have the uh, Igor live stream right now, which is his stock and Forex update. So if you want an in-depth, in detailed Forex and stock market update, then you can obviously catch that right now. Nice. The live stream is live. Look at this. This is analysis you're not going to see anywhere else. The guy's on fire. The guy's a legend. If you missed the live stream because you're watching this late, of course, this is like Netflix on demand. You can come back and watch this live any time of the day, even tomorrow, even next week, okay? He's going to drop so many golden nuggets. He's already been going on for over an hour. And the guy's literally a legend in the making. Well, he's already a legend, like the guy's next level analysis right now. So if you want to see that live trading, then you can come over and check the live trading stock market and Forex update right now with Igor. Uh, that's chartchampions.com, where you've obviously got the live streams, you've got the education, you've got the coaches on your side, and everything else that you could ever want. So uh, yeah, if you want to learn about that, chartchampions.com. I hope I've given you an uh, insight into how I'm reading the order flow. I've given you an insight of what I'm looking for next and uh, you know how we got to trade the charts. I will end with that. Trade the charts, ladies and gentlemen. I could have wanted a head and shoulders, but I recognize, put my ego aside. Let's trade the charts. Even though I took the short here, I was very quick to close it, recognizing we're going to push up higher. If I was an egotistical trader that has to be right, has to be right, has to be right, I would have shorted there and I would have, I would have lost money essentially. And I could have even been underwater now. Like, oh, I got to be right. I've got to stay in this short position. Nope. I recognize the order flow. I recognize the stock market. I recognize we're going to push higher. I scrapped the idea of the head and shoulders and we went higher. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what you call professional trading, trading the charts 
And that's how you make money in this market. It's how you make money in this market. So yeah, I'm going to wrap it up with there. I'm going to go over and resume myself into this Eagle live stream because I, I personally watch it as well. I find it extremely interesting. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go back and join into this one. I'm going to wish you all a very good day. Thank you ever so much. And uh, yeah, have a brilliant, brilliant day ahead, everybody. Thank you. And I love you. I'll of course end with the disclaimer, no financial advice, it's just a entertainment educational video only. And if we talk about trades, it's on demo paper trade accounts. So thank you ever so much. Have a good day and goodbye.